What's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys all of the new makeup goodies I purchased last week. The two boxes came in. I went to TJ Maxx. I just did a little shopping. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> Things I'm not supposed to be doing in June. And I say that <laughs> because on my community tab, I did a poll probably, I wanna say at the end of May. So basically what I did was I asked you guys, I said, I think I'm gonna do a new buy in June. Do you think I can do it? 67% of people said, yes girl, easy. 33% haha, no shopping is your addiction. So the 33% of you are accurate. It is not the end of June and I broke down and I went shopping. Now, this is, I will say, the first time I went shopping shopping for things I didn't need in almost a month. So I'm really proud of myself. We're gonna try again, but you know, we're not. I literally haven't purchased on anything unnecessary on Amazon in so long. I just placed an order yesterday. So I'm just so proud of myself. I know I didn't make it the month. We're gonna try again and see if I can, but while we're at it, we're gonna go through and see all the fun stuff I bought. I'm so excited. All right, let's get into this video. I have a package from Morphe. I have a package from Dragon Beauty and I have a TJ Maxx bag. Ah, we're gonna go into Morphe first. So the, this started my buying situation, downfall, if you will. Morphe, <laughs> Morphe had a humongous brush set. <laughs> and I bought like 20 brushes. It was 40% off, y'all. 40% off. Y'all know I had to. I had to. I don't have enough brushes. It's fine. I'm going to try to see how much I paid for each one. But a lot of the times Morphe just doesn't send me like the prices. Like they don't want you to have any regrets on your purchases. So let's see. All right. So I do have a confirmation email that tells me the original price and how much I paid for the brush. So I will tell you my total was $126.63 US dollars. And we're going to get into what I got. So I never bought any of the Morphe and Jaclyn brushes. If you guys haven't seen my newest video with the Ariel and Morphe collab, I tend not to buy the collab brushes because they wind up being the same brushes they already have just with different handles and sometimes different hairs, but they wind up being like way more pricey than the original Morphe brushes. But I thought for 40% off, I was just gonna try them because I have seen these brushes and I do really, really like them. And I don't think they have these in their normal brushes. So I don't, they might. Tell me down below if they do. And then I'm just an idiot. So it does come in this fancy bag. Like this is how a normal Morphe brush comes. So just so we're clear, this is how fancy Jaclyn Morphe brushes came. All right, so the first one I have is the JH11. So she was originally $24. I got her for $14.40. Ooh, she's nice. Ooh, so soft. It's really soft though, I will say that. The quality of like the handle, I mean, it seems right up Morphe's alley. So this next one is the JH01. I have heard her talk about this one. This is, I'm sorry, this was the Sweeping Beauty brush. They're all the Sweeping Party collection. Sweeping Beauty, so just to wipe your powder off. This one is a powder brush itself, just a powder brush. She talks about this one all the time. So this is the one that I really, really wanted because it's just like, it's so huge. I could just dip this and just get all my... So again, it's very soft. These are very soft. Considering their brushes are usually not this soft, this is really nice. And that one was also originally 24 and I got it for 14.40. Her brushes are really expensive. So this one is the JH02. This is a bronzing brush. I actually think I have this original bronzing brush. This was also $24. I paid 14 for it. So I I got almost $10 off. It's like $14.40 or something. So I'm not too mad about that. Would I pay $24 for each of these brushes? Heavens no. But I got them on sale, so that's why I got them. I do like this, but I feel like for bronzer, like, I don't know how I feel about this for bronzer. It's so big. I usually prefer a smaller brush when I'm doing my bronzer. So we'll see. I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know. Keep you updated. No, sweet party. I'm an idiot. 
Sweet Party is not the name of this collab. Sweet Party is like the coupon code that I use to get 40% off. I don't freaking know what's happening to me today. So this is the M527 Deluxe Pointed Powder Brush. I paid $12 for this. It's originally $20 and I don't know what I'm going to use her for. I don't know yet, but she will be used. Ooh. I love that. So this one is the M, no, this is the R2. Ooh. And this is a tapered powder brush and I paid 1080. I don't have many of like the pro one, but they're said to be a lot nicer, so. So this is the E59, this is the tapered bronzing brush and this was 20 and I paid 12. Now this is the kind of bronzing, bronzing brush I would use. Small, tapered, and can really just get in there and swirl. It's a little stiffer than I would prefer, but I feel like the more I work with it and the more I use it, this is gonna be really, really nice. It's gonna be my like my new best friend for bronzer. So we have the E49, which is the flat pointed powder. This is one that I would use for under my eye, just to get all up in there, in my areas. All right, so the last of the brushes are eye brushes. I got two, four, six, seven eye brushes. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is the E22. It is a pointed blending brush. I paid $5.40 for this, originally $9. So this one I actually have a lot of. This is the M433. This is the Pro Firm Blending Fluff. It's a tapered blending brush, and I really, really like this one. I compare this one to a MAC one that I have, and it's pretty similar. I just love getting into, look, look at that. It just swallows that where I need it to be. By the way, I paid $5.40 for the blending brush. So I did get a smudger brush, and this is the M213, and I paid $3 for this, originally five. The reason I got this is because I got the smudger brush from the Ariel and Morphe collab, and I really, really liked it, and this was way cheaper so it's exactly the same. I also got the flat liner definer for 420 and it was originally seven and this is literally the other end of that double end brush that came with the Morphe and Ariel collab. So I wanted more of them but I wasn't willing to pay another hundred fifty dollars another fifty to a hundred dollars. So R39 is a tapered blender and this was 540 and the original price was nine dollars. We have an M441 which I have a ton of this is just the Pro Firm Blending Crease Brush. It's literally one of my favorite. It is fairly soft and really just kind of buffers out those harsh lines. And then the last one is E27. It is a Pro Round Blender. I do not have one of these. This is the first time I've got one of these. And this was also $5.40, originally $9. So I got all of these for a fairly decent discount. And that's kind of why I bought them because Morphe does have pretty decent sales when it comes to their brushes and they're already fairly inexpensive. So you're basically, you're buying them for nothing. So I was like, I have to get these and I did. I did have a lot more in my cart and I wound up taking a lot out because I wanted my total wound up being like 200 and some dollars. And I was like, oh my God, no, 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 no. Like we just went from zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. <laughs> No. So the next thing I got was also something that was kind of like a sale slash deal slash bundle slash collab. So basically what happened was Nikita Dragon and Dragon Beauty collabed with Instagram to basically create this transformation kit affordable for the normal everyday consumer. So I paid $25 for this whole kit and caboodle. So I'm really excited about that because I actually own one of the items because I had just purchased it from Morphe like literally a week before she had announced this and it was $35 just for the powder. So, so this is the box and you get the stickers. Yes, those are so cute. Also, Nikita Dragon liked one of my Instagram posts and I almost fucking had a heart attack. So you get the egg and there's the powder in here and there's another color corrector and then the other two color correctors. And then right here it says, founded by a trans woman for trans people, inclusive to all. So hashtag 
Dragon Beauty Pride. So it was basically something that they did for the month of June for Pride Month. And I was so excited. One, not only am I excited because it was only $25, but I was also excited because I just think the whole idea and concept of this collab was fantastic. And I really like shout out to obviously Nikita because she is super supportive of Pride Month and you know, the trans community and all that. I mean, obviously, but like also to Instagram, like they covered the cost of goods. I think it was like the total for this whole thing was like a hundred and something. She said, I'll add it up. But they covered the cost of everything, but the $25. So that way it is affordable to anybody and everybody, not just like, oh, you know, makeup artists here, you know, make it affordable. But for people in the trans community who may need these color correctors for different facial hairs or features on their face, make it affordable for them. Because I will tell you, I've used the powder and it is literally my freaking favorite powder now and like I just I was so excited to purchase this again and I love that you know that they just got together and they just did a thing I was so excited about it so it says on the little card here it says hi dragon this June we've created a pride pack with our hero dragon egg transformation kit and dragon fire color correctors for $25 to make it accessible as possible for everyone as a trans woman I created the transformation kit with products used to define features and feminize the face it was so important to me to offer such a groundbreaking product pairing and the entire dragon beauty team is beyond excited to offer it exclusively on instagram check out for you instagram check out oh instagram check out for you so basically what i did is it's it wasn't on the website you did it through instagram it was pretty cool and like instagram sent me notifications when it was on its way it was pretty freaking cool and then it says i really am like it's killing me that for some reason the her first letters are not capitalized in the beginning of the sentences. I don't I don't know why it's bothering me, but it is. We've also included some tips on how to be a trans and GNC ally. Hashtag Dragon Beauty Pride XO Nikita. This fucking card is sickening. It's so cute. And then on the other side here, it says how to show up for the trans and GN GNC community. Talk about pronouns, center trans voices, speak up, stop violence and discrimination. I love this like 110%. I love the whole idea behind it. I just think it was such a great thing to do for Instagram and for Nikita to just really bring like their communities both together and really just do this. I can only imagine how difficult it is for trans women, you know, to have to figure out how to color correct correctly and, you know, hide certain features and make their face look more feminine without, you know, already dealing with the crap that they have to deal with. But I think these are really great products. I've seen really great reviews. I love the powder. So to sit here and think that she and Instagram decided, you know what, we're going to take up the rest of the cost. So the community has more accessibility to it. So you get the egg, which by the way, I'm here for this. I'm going to display this. I absolutely love it. Now I have all the space in the world behind me to display it. So you get your um, color corrector, dragon fire color corrector in here. And then you get your transformation face powder in here. I'm not gonna open this one because I have one already. And let me tell you what, I absolutely love it. So it comes with a pink one and a yellow one and I usually mix them together and it literally makes my under eye look just bomb. So then we have the lavender dragon fire color corrector, the green one, and then the orange one. So orange is to combat any darker purples or blues. Purple is to combat, I believe, any yellowing. And then green is to combat red. So green is going to be my friend. Orange might... I might be able to use orange because I do get some dark spots here or purple because I get a lot of yellow in here. So let me tell you the original price of this. Like if I'm not mistaken, it's like a hundred and some dollars. So for one egg, one powder and one coloring, color corrector, not all three, one is $55. And then the color correctors themselves individually are $25. So say I got one kit, so the powder and a color for 55 and then 50 more for two more. So it was 105 total for this. And I just, 
I absolutely love this. I hope that there were so many people in the trans community that were able to get this for the decent and low cost that it was. And I hope that it helps them and makes them feel so much better about whatever it is that they're struggling with or going through. And I just, I love it. I thought it was such a cute idea. So I snatched it up. Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> TJ Maxx was an accident. Um, so I went to TJ Maxx to look for some fridge organizers and they, they had some, but they didn't have multiples and I, I'm like really weird. Like it all has to look the same, whatever. Anyways, so I wound up stumbling into the makeup department. Now the TJ Maxx that I went to, I have two in my area. This one usually is hot garbage. So the other one's usually pretty good. And I wound up going to this one. There was like no eyeshadow, no foundation, no nothing. But the one thing that they had that they rarely have are amazing lipsticks. So your girl went ham. There was one eyeshadow I got. So this was $4.99. This is Cara Beauty. I believe they're a pretty big brand. I don't really know. This was $4.99, but it was so pretty. Like I saw this and I saw the colors and I was like, I have to have this palette. This is the cheapest palette I've probably ever bought. No, my little elf ones are pretty cheap. If you guys want to see a look with this, please let me know. Oh, she's so pretty. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Look at these colors. Like I know that these colors right here look exactly the same, but they're not. It's just cause the way the light is. There we go. Like the reds, the oranges, the yellow, the gold. It looks so good. So I got the Lipstick Queen in Frog Prints. It is green, but it actually goes on pink. I'm gonna show you. Basically it's color changing to the heat and the temperature of your body. So, so I got two of them. This one is Highway 66. So it looks green, but then turns like an orangish color. And I wish I would have done the orangish one cause I have this redness going on for my eczema freak out. So making my lips red probably wasn't the best idea. So it's green. This was also $4.99. Like, I just think they're so cute. They're, these are actually like one of my favorite lipsticks because it's not really a lipstick. It's more like a balm, but it gives it like that cool color. But I believe you can put these over lipsticks. So like if you have a red lipstick, but it's not blue or pink tone enough, I believe you can combat it with this and make it more cool tone, make it more warm tone. So then we have another lipstick queen in Cheesy Chestnut. Cheeky chestnut, Jesus. All these lipstick queens were only $4.99. So this is the little compartment, component. These are so shiny and creamy. I am loving these right now. Okay, and then we have the Whole Truth, which is another lipstick queen, nudie. I think this is a whole nude line they did. I don't, I only had like one lipstick of theirs and I really liked it. So when I saw these for $4.99, I was like $5 for this lipstick. Yes, please. And y'all know I love lipstick. We've had this discussion. So this one is called Saint Nude. This is a different component. It's gold. So there is Saint Nude. Look how shiny they are. They're so moisturizing and creamy. So this is the last lipstick queen and it is in the shade Blooming Blush. Ooh, she is pink. I definitely have to use it with a darker lip liner. The next one is a NARS one, which was $7.99. I actually don't think I own a single NARS lipstick. So I was like, yes, $7.99. This is the component, which is so cute and matte and sleek. And this is the color. Ooh. And we have it in the shade Dolce Vita. So this one is very similar to these, but this is a very, very sheer lipstick. Like it took me several swatches to get even that pigment right, one. So I got three more Becca lipsticks. I only have one from this brand and I really, really actually enjoy it. It is the Sorbet one, which I already have and I didn't realize that was the color I had. So I already have this one. But we have Flamingo and these were all $5.99. So that's why I'm saying like below $10 for an expensive brand lipsticks. <laughs> Oh, so pretty. And I love these components because they're magnetic. Like I'm pretty sure I talked about this the one time I got these from TJ Maxx or the one that I have already. I love the magnetic strip. She is like Barbie 
Barbie pink, okay? This one is taupe. These two swatches right here are the taupe color. I didn't think you'd be able to see this one, and now it's like an L shape. But I really, really like that one. That's really pretty. So this is my already purchased sorbet, like this one, but I've already opened this one and used it. Obviously, I've used it for a while. It's one of my actual favorite lipsticks because it's so creamy and buttery. Like, I never knew that Becca even sold lipsticks like this. There's gonna be a lot of Becca in TJ Maxx soon, so keep an eye out. I probably load up on lipsticks and stuff, but I do like their lipsticks. So this is the sorbet. It's so pretty. I feel like all these colors look so similar except for boom, Barbie pink, but they're so soft, so buttery, and so creamy. Like, I just, I'm obsessed with the Becca ones. So I was like, yes, $5.99. Hello. I got 10 new lipsticks, ladies and gentlemen, to add to the 400 plus that I already own. My husband's gonna kill me one day. It just is what it is. So that is it for all of the things that I've purchased in the past week and it's only gone downhill from there. So I will be back with new videos of new things that I've bought. If you guys want to see any reviews or any looks or anything created with any of the things that I purchased and I show you on my shopping haul, you can always leave it down below and let me know. And as always guys, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. It does help my channel out. It does help me out. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel. I do three new beauty videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!